There's a different rhythm and vibe that runs through the shoals in Florence, Alabama. It's a cool mix of R&B and country. It's a melting pot of down home and continental. It's where tradition meets contemporary. Our ancestors called it Singing River. We call it home, and you'll call it a great getaway. The Shoals is as near as an easy morning's drive from Nashville, Memphis, Birmingham, or Atlanta. And we're close. Close enough for a long drive. Want to get outside? Start your day with yoga on a century-old railroad bridge spanning the Tennessee River. Or tee it up on the northern jewel of the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. 36 championship holes waiting for you. Grab your bike and ride the historic Natchez Trace. We're close enough to set the hook. Your chance to catch a world-class smallmouth or largemouth bass is just a minute away because the Shoals is a sportsman's paradise. Admire the horses or kayak one of the crystal clear streams that surround our area. Take a long walk. The towering oaks and hickories that surround us are home to some of the South's best hiking and hunting. Close enough to find your sound. Want to get a groove on? Here in the Shoals, we made the music that changed the world. From W.C. Handy, Father of the Blues, to R&B pioneers Wilson Pickett, Percy Sledge, and Aretha, all the way to Paul Simon, Rod Stewart, Bob Dylan, Leonard Skinner, the Allman Brothers, and the Stones, they all came to the Shoals in search of one thing, that Muscle Shoals sound. That sound still rocks today, and you can hear it for yourself. Festivals and outdoor events? We have special events year-round. From our monthly celebration of downtown food, music, and artisans we call First Fridays, and the annual Helen Keller Festival, to Arts Alive and the Handy Festival, a week-long celebration of music and tribute to W.C. Handy, one of Alabama's top ten events. Hardly a weekend passes that you can't find an event, musical or cultural, to pique your interest. And there are historical treasures, like the Rosenbaum House, Alabama's only Frank Lloyd Wright structure, open for you year-round. We're close enough to taste the world. Hungry? Go continental or settle into some soul food. Enjoy eclectic fare downtown? Or how about a burger, beer, and a band inside an Alabama limestone cave? It's your choice. Ready to pamper yourself? Maybe a weekend with the girls? The Shoals Marriott Hotel and Spa offers a chance to relax, restore, and recharge in world-class comfort. Shopping and fashion call Florence and the Shoals home as well. Internationally known designers, Billy Reed and Natalie Channon are based here, along with dozens of shops for every taste. So come on, join us. We have something for everyone. Florence, Alabama and the Shoals. Close enough? to get away from it all. Take it from me. When it came to my dreams, I knew that being hands-on would take me places college never could. Take it from me. When it came to my career, I was floating from job to job, never finding my calling. Take it from me. When it comes to what's next, joining the trades will take you further than you ever thought. Take it from us and find your future GoBuildAL.com. Be more. Go build. Good evening, Barry Corbin here with ASA BFA. So glad to see tents popping back up here, just like I know you are. Uh, glad to be able to be here. Thankful. Things are getting better in our nation, in our state, with the COVID situation. Uh, but very much glad to see this uh, coming about. I am so tickled to have a couple sponsors with us today. This morning, right before we launched off, the frog togs were mighty handy to have. By the time we got ready for blast off, it had gone, and now I am very happy to be wearing my amphibia eyewear because we got enough sunshine out here that we need it. So very pleased to have that as well, all the sponsors that we have. God has blessed us with a great day, a beautiful day here today, and so thankful for that. Uh, glad to be a part of it. Uh, I'm fixing to hurt. Turn, turn the mic over to uh, Mr. Curtis, and we're going to get started. we got uh, several anglers over there at our Go Build uh, uh, live station over there where we're keeping the fish going 
uh, breathing and good health in that situation. We'll be bringing them up over there from the Gold Build site here in just a minute. So if you have your hats on, if you remove, we'll have a word of prayer, and I'll hand this mic over to Mr. Curtis. We'll get things started. Father, we thank you so much for this day and the glory that you have that shine upon us today. Thank you so much for the blessings that you have. Thank you for the nice weather that we've been able to have today. Well, we know that you are the one that's in control and not the weatherman, as it uh, obviously is for us today. We just thank you for that. We thank you for the safety of these anglers and boat captains there on the water and for keeping us uh, in your will and in your grace throughout the day. We thank you so much for the many blessings you provide. Thank you for keeping uh, the, the association alive and well and that we can spread uh, the, the glory of your uh, nature out there among our young people. And thank you so much for all the many blessings that you have for us. Amen. Mr. Curtis, here we go. Let's get them kicked off in Lake Pickwick. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Before I get started, I have said this down south, and I want everybody to get, get your attention because I know some of you did this. Before we get started, I want to thank everyone that prayed for me when I had COVID, and I was very, very sick, and I know the, um, the community of the fishing community came together, and, and they prayed on my behalf, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I see people out there, Fayetteville, Shelby County, just teams after team that sent stuff to my home that uh, took care of me and my family when I was sick. And that's on a personal note. Uh, if you're here for the seniors, I'm going to do this again. But I want to thank you one last time. And I'm going to stop saying thank you after that. Some of you are tired of hearing it. But I just want to—I want you to know my family and I really do appreciate it. I cannot do my job without this right-hand man, and he's on my left, but he's my right-hand man from, from Alex City, Alabama, Benjamin Russell High School. Everybody put their hands together for Mr. Josh Williams. He's going to be my waymaster. And Miss Carol, I couldn't do my job without you either. Who we got? We got some Indians up there, I, th I think. Okay, we sure do. We have our first boat is boat 15 from West Point, and these young men have their limit today. Kobe Sellers and Asher McNabb bringing five fish to the scale. Look at here, we have a five fish limit. This is a good way to set the day off. Come on up here, you West Point Warriors. Kobe and Asher have a five fish limit. I'm gonna sneak in here between you two, and I'm gonna get a weight on those, and we're gonna, they're live. We're going to get a weight market at 6.83. Put it right there, Kobe. Put it right there, Asher. Good job, guys. We got a little bit of time, so y'all mind grabbing two, and we're going to take some pictures right quick on the stage. That is a super way to start the tournament off up here. We got a smallmouth in the bag. This lake has smallmouth. They have spots. Look at there. Hold them up high. Get some pictures. Yeah. Put your hands together. There you go. First place. First place right now. Good job, guys. Put them back in that bag, and we'll see how that holds up. Go down there, and we're going to get some more pictures of you right down there. Moms and dads, remember, we're going to take pictures on this side, but please walk around because we're on Facebook Live, and we uh, don't want a close-up of you. So walk around this way, and we'll take pictures right here with our photographer as well. Who is next? Up next, uh, boat number 10 from East Limestone, Bryce McDonald and Spencer Morris. They have two spots in their bag. All right, come on up here from East Limestone. They have two spotted bass. We had a large mouth and a small mouth in the last bag. And like I was saying, let's mark it first, 1.95. Up here in Florence, y'all step right off the stage. We're going to get some pictures of those down there as well. Up here in Florence, we have actually four fish type fish will be weighed in today. We have large mouth, we have small mouth, spotted bass, and then we have a mean mouth, which is a mix between a spot and a small mouth. So uh, if you hear that mean mouth, we, we record those as spots though, okay? All right, here we go, Miss Carol. All right, boat number two, Liberty Park Middle School, Sam Wyndham and Bill's, I'm sorry, Ben Stallworth bringing four fish. Come on up here. One shy of a limit, but that's a good start. Hand those over to Mr. Josh, and we're going to get a mark on them. Stay right here. 
look that way and smile. Market at 4.19419. Good job. I appreciate y'all fishing with us. Y'all from Liberty Park, right? Good job. They're down in District 3 with me. Up next, boat number two, Liberty Park Middle School, Sam Wyndham. No, nope. this is uh, Fayetteville. Fayetteville, boat number nine. I had my finger on the last one still. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks Turner. Come on up here, Brooks, from Fayetteville. One of the Talladega, only Talladega school we got. I was hoping I'd get some more in my district. We're going to try again this year. We're going to mark them. How many fish do you have? Three fish at 2.89, 2.89. Good job, buddy. That's by himself, too. Super job. Boat 16 from Vinemont, Bradley Johnson and Gavin Ray. They have one fish. Come on up here. It looks like a smallmouth. Come on up here. We're going to get a weight on that fish from Vinemont. We're going to mark that one fish. That's a good one. 2.06, 2.06. Good job, guys. Go right down there and get a picture of it. Super job. All right. We got some East Limestone boys coming up. Yes, sir. Boat number 11, Davis Clark, with one fish. Come on up here, Davis. We're going to get you marked. Did you fish by yourself today, Davis? All right. Fish by itself, and he's got one in his bag. Let's see what it weighs. It's going to weigh in at... 2.72. That's a good one. Jump right, right down there and get a picture of it, okay? Right off that end right there. Good job, buddy. We have a good bag coming to the scale. Boat 13 from East Limestone, Presley Carter and Josh uh -oh. Swain with five fish. Uh-oh. We got our second five fish limit, and it's going to be a doozy. We're going to have a new leader. Come on over here. Because we're going to get a picture, y'all. Look at the air. Look at their market at 11.21. Put it right there, buddy. Josh. And what's your name? Preston? Uh, Presley. Y'all grab two each out of there and let's get a mark. And Okay. All right. And they have the five fish limit. Five Alive. We're giving Power Pro Line away for every five fish limit that comes across the stage today. And they're going to get their Power Pro Line. We're going to take some pictures and we're going to get a big fish um, weight on their biggest fish of the day. All right. Good job. Hold them up. Hold them up high. There you go. Smile. Hold him tight. There you go. Smile, smile, smile. There you go. Everybody give a big round of applause. Let's put that one in there. Mr. Josh is going to get a weight on his big fish. No, no, no. Don't put that one in there. That's all right. That's all right. Got it? All right. Big fish, 2.76. 276. Good job. Grab that one out of there. And y'all are the leaders and the big fish leaders. So put your hands together for yourself. Up next is boat number six <clears throat> from Muscle Shoals. They have three fish, Evan Thompson and Evan Henry. The Evan boys. Come on up here, Evan and Evan. Hand that over and let's get a mark on this. These are big old boys. They've been eating their greens up here. Seven point eight eight seven eight eight. I think that's second place. So Y'all stick around because you're probably going to get a trophy or two, okay? Absolutely. You can weigh a big fish. And on top of that, why don't you grab two of them and let him grab one or ever who caught two. And, uh, we're, oh, these are beautiful smallmouth. We need to get pictures of these. Let them uh, hold those smallmouth up. Oh, they're all three smallmouth. And get some good pictures of those. Muscle Shoals Junior Team. We're going to make a, uh, we're going to get a big fish weight. And he takes over the big fish. Look at there, 3.44, 344. Good job, guys. 344, big fish. All right, step off and get some more pictures down there. Do we have any more boats, Miss Carol? Not at this time. I'm going to text Mr. Kevin across the lake and see if we've got everybody checked in, and we're going to get the results. Uh, in to these guys. All right. They're all in. They are all in. So 
we are going to compile results, which shouldn't take long, and we're going to get these trophies handed out to these junior champions. Let me tell you what, we had a, quite a few juniors drop out because of thought the weather was going to be bad this morning. I just want to congratulate these guys for coming and sticking it out, even though it was a beautiful day. They came, they knew they had a chance to have to sit out in the rain all day, and they, they did what they needed to do, and I'm proud of every one of those teams. Don't walk in front, please, if you don't mind. We're on Facebook Live. Walk around the tent if you're going to get pictures, okay? Yes. I have it. While we're getting everything compiled, we want to thank our sponsors. And our main sponsor is Go Build. And if you have not heard me talk about Go Build, please listen to me for just a minute. They are our title sponsor, and they give a lot of money for scholarships, for everything you see happening up here. And But their product is awesome. Uh, if you haven't gone to their site, please go to Go Build. If you have a child that loves working with his or her hands, uh, not every child has to go to college. This program, if you go to it, you come out and you are a master of what you choose to do. And so if you have a chance, go and look. And even if you have a child going to college, you may have a kin, somebody in your family that's a kin folk that could uh, take advantage of this. So tell them about it. But anyway, just go and look at it for me. You'll be impressed. Uh, and we would love for you to like their Facebook pages and all that too as well. Uh, Phoenix Boats, Mr. Barry went up and did a tour on, uh, at the plant the other day. They're an awesome sponsor. They've been with us many, many, many years. Uh, awesome boat. If you have not checked out a Phoenix boat, we have the place you can check them out that also is Freedom Marine. Uh, they're one of our main sponsors and have been for years. They give away scholarships uh, to our anglers, and we're so happy to have Ken Chambers again. At the end of this tournament, Ken Chambers wants to sign a check for somebody. Uh, and w if you have a boat and you bought it at, uh, at Freedom Marine or you repowered or bought a used boat, don't have to be a, used boat, a new boat, you are eligible to walk away with $1,000 if you are the highest finisher. You don't even have to win. Hammer rods, frog togs, as uh, Barry has already talked about, they kept us dry this morning. Uh, although the rain shut down at 15 till, it was raining when we got here at 5.30, and the frog togs kept us very, very, very dry. Um, they are the official rain gear of ASA BFA. Kusa Cotton, one of the finest young men I've ever met in my life, uh, he and his brother, uh, on Coos Cotton, they're from Shelby County, Alabama. They went to Shelby County High School, if I'm not mistaken. And they have some of the best products, as most of you already know. Please go to their uh, Facebook, go to their site, and look at what they have. Engel Coolers, Big Bite Baits, Prime One Camo, and E3 Sports. Um, all those are great sponsors ours, and we appreciate what they do for us. We are almost ready. Almost ready. Everybody's in. Everybody's in, which is always a good thing. All right. We're going to start with the individuals to begin with. And we are going to move to the team competition after that. Today... Our third place uh, are going to receive hats and buffs and 
uh, all kinds of goodies from uh, ASA BFA, as well as beautiful plaques. Um, second place is going to receive all that, plus a Shimano reel. And first place is going to receive a hammer rod, as well as plaque and all those other goodies. Uh, Big Fish Award, we're going to give the Big Fish uh, winner today uh, Amphibia Eyewear. And uh, so we have got some, we have some stuff to hand out. And we are almost ready to go. I think we are ready to start with the individuals. In third place, right down the road, and it was our first team waiting in, I think, from West Point, the Warriors, Kobe Sellers and Asher McNabb with 6.83. And we have some hats and buffs and plaques and we, we also, also have, have a Cusa Cotton, Cotton $50 stay up here, Kobe. You gotta, gotta get, get your picture, picture taken. You two good looking and run off now. now. You, you gotta, gotta turn around there and smile for mama. mama. All right. We got hats and buffs and look at there. <laughs> Hold those plaques up. Smile big. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. In second, second place from, from across the bridge from the Muscle Shows uh, Trojan Bass team, Evan Thomas and Evan Henry. They had 7.88. Come on up here. I'm sorry. Did I say, did I say, did I say something, something wrong? What did I say? I'm sorry, Thompson. Evan Thompson. They got reels from Shimano. They get buffs and hats and plaques and <laughs> All right, Evan, stay up here. Evan, oh, well, both of them, Evan. Evan Thompson, you stay up here. Evan, you can go ahead and go. Evan caught the big fish that weighed 3.44, and he's going to receive another plaque, and he's going to get a gift certificate for amphibian eyewears, eyewear, and he will get to pick out the ones he wants off their site. This is for big fish, junior vision. Smile big. All right. And in first place from East Limestone with 11.21 pounds on limit. 
Let's welcome Presley Carter and Josh Swam. Swim or Swam? Which one do you say? Swim. I had a swim on my team one time in Pell City, so I knew that. 11 2 1. All right. Captains, I forgot, and I was told earlier, captains, if you're a captain, you get hats too, so come back up here if you want a hat, ASA, BFA hat, captains, you can get one as well. They're receiving hammer rods, plaques, hats, buffs. Good, Good job, guys. guys. No. All, right. All right. Now, now then, team, team division. This is the team division. The teams that just left better stick around for a little while. All right. In third place, with 198 points, West Point, you are the third place team division winner. Where's our West Point guys? They didn't leave, did they? West Point. West Point. Come back. They must have stuck out quick. All right, West Point, we'll give it to them at the next one we see them at. All right, in second place, with 199 points, the Muscle Shoals. Muscle Shoals, come on up and get your second place trophy. Boat captains, come on up here. There was only one, so. We're on Lake Martin, 2017 ASA BFA state qualifier. This is our first qualifier. My name's Shane Mantle. I'm tournament director as well as the marketing director. It's amazing. These kids, they love to, they love to catch these fish, uh, bring them up on the stage, putting them out in front of their, their parents, their grandparents, friends. It makes a sort of a star out of them. We had a lot of fun. Hello. Hello. It's amazing. We started this about uh, eight years ago, and uh, when we started this, there was just a handful of teams. We got over 2,000 members now that fish with ASA BFA. These are very expensive tournaments to put on. With sponsors like Go Build, this is what makes this possible. A tournament trail normally pays out cash prizes. We pay out scholarships, and Go Build and the companies like that is what makes that possible. The mission of Go Build Alabama is to educate young people, parents, and others into the great careers that are available in the commercial and industrial construction industry, and then to inspire them to uh, move forward and start their own construction career path. These are not jobs that will export out of the country, so this is a magnificent time for young people and others that might be considering career change to think about construction careers. We really stepped up this year and able to uh, bring in three more scholarships. Uh, starting off with our first place boat's going to be getting a $2,000 scholarship, which will be split between the two anglers. Back when I got into fishing pro stuff, there wasn't anything like this, so uh, sponsoring things like this you're really pushing those kids to do more. At Go Build Alabama, we really are excited about this sponsorship because this gives us an opportunity to talk to students, support them in one of their extracurricular activities, and help inspire them to maybe consider a career in the construction industry. You know exactly where you want to be. On the water with your best friend. 
You two out there just casting and catching. Out on the water is a great place to make memories that'll last. But uh, we can't help it if your kid's a better fisherman. Visit Freedom Marine Center, Highway 431 in Albertville, and freedommarinecenter.net. Take it from me. When it came to my dreams, I knew that being hands-on would take me places college never could. Take it from me. When it came to my career, I was floating from job to job, never finding my calling. Take it from me. When it comes to what's next, joining the trades will take you further than you ever thought. Take it from us and find your future at GoBuildAL.com. Be more. Go Build. Take it from me. When it came to my dreams, I knew that being hands-on would take me places college never could, and joining the trades took me further than I ever thought. Find your future at GoBuildAL.com. Be hands-on. Go Build. When considering Maslow's hierarchy of needs, one must first figure the basic level of Essentially what Maslow was saying is that uh, from the basic level, what are we doing here? Look at that beauty right there. Shelter in warmth. Oh! It's getting loud for that fish right there. Greg Hackney, 2014 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Aaron Martins, 2013 and 2015 Bassmaster Angler of the Year. What else do these guys have in common? Phoenix Boats. The last three Bassmaster Angler of the Year titles were won out of Phoenix Boats. Coincidence? We think not. Phoenix Boats. Our passion for fishing is obvious.